one of the guys that I dated had a girl best friend, and she made out with him, and she said, just pretend like I'm Maya. I said, well, was she a better kisser or what? Did you like it? And he was like, yeah, she was. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We just came from the Patreon episode where we talked drama. Welcome to Wine About It. Welcome we talked to about, about it. the phase drama, and we had some hot takes. You wouldn't yeah, believe what Maya said about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I said some crazy read her stuff. Journal. I did read my journal, and I shouldn't. I feel exposed. Um, no, it was good. Let's cut it, it out. Good. Um, and Cutie read all of her tweets that she can't post. <laughs> yeah, they're profane. That was great. That's great. Well, um, welcome to Wine About It. Welcome to Wine About It. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. Um, and we are going to embarrass ourselves and you. Well, this uh, we, we do this every once in a while. It's not a little different, but we asked you guys. We said, hey, losers, <laughs> tell us when you've embarrassed yourself for a crush and what you did exactly. Yeah. But don't worry. We like to warm you up first we won't just expose you right away we'll expose ourselves so maya yeah. i'm asking you what is the most freaking embarrassing thing you've done for a dumbass man with a pea-sized brain drugs whoa <laughs> holy we're one minute in uh yeah chill. i we so okay we both have a couple stories here uh um, not me i'm never embarrassing that's insane because you have done drugs to impress a guy i i know that I know that actually in two instances you've done that. And I've also done it in two instances. So... Two instances? Yeah, so did you. No, me, me, me. When's my other one? I just told one. Oh, I thought there was another one in addition to that. It was only that one. I think so. Damn it. All right, well, I have two instances. Maybe I start with the less bad one. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. I could probably sit here and think about each of my crushes and come up with a list. <laughs> right. That's what I was doing too. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we back to back. Maybe we both tell our water bong. We go ban for ban. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We go bong for bong. Bong for bong. <laughs> Perhaps. <sighs> okay. Uh, a spoiler. Um, yeah. So I was in college. I liked a guy. Um, we went to a house party they were all smoking weed i don't smoke weed i never have um i've like certainly tried it but i've never been into it never whatever i never used a bong didn't know how to use a bong went to this house party they were all in a room he was using a bong i he was like here take a hit of this bong i was like i was yes <laughs> absolutely. absolutely oh my god yeah. my king <laughs> um to be yeah Anything. to be to be cool um and something bad happened and i still i still don't know the mechanics of a bong mm -hmm. but like something really bad happened it, it burned my throat like huh. badly really like it it hurt really bad i huh. don't know again don't know the mechanics of a bong i don't know how it works or like what i did wrong but it like burned the back of my throat to where I was just like violently coughing and I couldn't stop coughing, but coughing hurt really bad because my throat was burned. And then I was drinking water and it was doing absolutely nothing because it wasn't in my in my food tube. It was in my my wood pipe. Esophagus. Yeah. Yeah. Or opposite. Um, right. My trachea. And. Yeah. And it didn't go away for the rest of the party. So the rest of the party, I was just like violently coughing and in a lot of pain. Yeah. And then you don't look cool. N no. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't acting like I knew what I was doing. Like, I definitely said, like, oh, I've never done it before, but I'm down. I was trying to do the, like, I'm cool because I'm down to, like, try new things because I'm an adventurous girly. Yeah. But that was all. Ah! That story's not that bad. It was. <laughs> Did you just kill somebody? Mm -hmm. Audio listeners, she just killed somebody. I didn't mean to. It's, you know, when you're, like, sitting here trying to catch a fly, but then you actually catch it, and you look, your hand is dead. Oh. It was a fruit fly. Uh, okay, your turn. Okay. Um. Gosh, which one do I want to start with? You have to one bomb time, one. I 
told that to Patreon. I'm not telling that to you guys. What the hell? I thought we were going bong for bong. Oh, I was talking ban for ban. You were talking straight up bong for bong. I mean, Bing once, bong. <laughs> once I got I, the problem was, is like when I started, when I was like no longer Mormon, when I started like drinking and doing that stuff it was a very slippery slope because i kind of just wanted to prove to like everyone that i was like cool and like make up for lost time right sure and so there's a lot of that happening but um the story the story that was going to come to my mind immediately it was probably the worst thing i've ever done for like in, yeah the worst thing i've ever done that's so embarrassing for a boy that i liked is i literally dated his friend because he wanted me to that's so sad dude that's so sad <laughs> that that poor I know. guy dude I that know. fucked up apologize i i'm sorry <laughs> i feel bad i ended up liking him and we ended up dating for a few months which in high school is 12 years you know we were practically married but then that's i was still nightmare. in love with his friend the whole time and so it, like didn't work out you know it was it was the one I always talk about. It was that the Tony Tony from high school? Wait, Tony Tony from high school. Not his real name, by the way. I did someone's brother because I had a yeah because I had a crush on his brother. And so you're just trying to get closer. I don't. Maybe initially, maybe. <laughs> okay. But I it was the same thing. I did start to like his brother. Oh uh, okay. But the it was one of those. Dated. Yes, the guy that I had a crush on was in my grade or my okay. year in high school. We were freshmen. Uh -huh. And he was not into me. And then I had a class with his brother who was a senior. And then I started yeah. flirting with his brother. Um which is Hoping like Hoping that would just like get illegal. you at the family picnic. What do you mean? Cuz like he was he was 18. Anyway, I yeah, I I started dating his brother and it didn't work out. So everybody's fine. No damage done. No damage done. Nobody's feelings were hurt. He never even knew that. And neither did his brother, so it don't matter. Well, I was in love with Tony from high school and and Tony's friend. Well, we had a complicated relationship, okay? I had a crush on him, he had a crush on me. We were both shy. We were both really shy and we didn't know how to make a move. And everybody keeps telling us, oh, they got a crush on you, got a crush on me, got a crush on you, got a crush on me. You know, and we're both frozen. And then his friend comes in. We'll call her freaking Ashley. Ashley pulls up and he was awesome. best friends with Ashley. He was best friends yeah. with Ashley. That was his best girlfriend. She pulls him into a room and he's like, she's like, why aren't you making a move on Blair? Like, you like her. And he was like, because I don't know what to do. And she goes, this is what you do. And then she starts making out with him. That's yeah. so fake. I know. And then they started dating and I was heartbroken. No! I was devastated. I was devastated. Yeah, it was really sad. But we would talk on instant messenger like every night. I wonder if I could like find... Ugh. God, could you imagine finding your messages of yourself flirting as a teenager? I would die. Dude, I used to email. I wonder if those exist somewhere. Definitely. I, used I never to email, email flirted. And one time my mom walked in while I was emailing and I slammed my laptop shut. Oh my God. And she freaked out because she thought I was talking to predators online. It was because it was, <laughs> I, 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 slammed, I slammed my laptop shut and like, she opened it and was like, what are you doing? And she saw these like emails being written and they were flirty emails between me and an anonymous man. Yeah. Which like, yikes. You're like, so the then daddy, I had to I love him. No, I had to prove to her that, that it was him. Oh my God. That sucks. I, and I don't, I think it was calling his home phone. I think I had to call his home phone and like she had to talk to his mom or something. Cause she did not believe me. Oh my gosh. Thank God. My parents were not involved in my life very much. <laughs> it was that crazy traumatic. Awful. Yeah. It was yeah. really stressful um oh my gosh ashley making out with that guy uh-huh same same really but mean. different it was devastating really mean yeah. um one of the guys that i dated had a girl best friend i broke up with him and i asked her because we were friends we had like a good relationship i was like can yeah. you just he's taking it really hard like can you just make sure he's okay right and she was like yeah totally so then that night they she invited him over and they went in her hot tub and she made out with him and she said just pretend like i'm maya 
She's so she sick said, for that. She said, she's so just cool pretend like I'm Maya. It'll make you feel better. And they made out. That Do you think night. he felt better? Uh, probably, yeah. It's crazy. And then, That's... for some reason, he told me all this. And for some reason, I asked him if she was a better kisser. Why? Because I hate myself. Probably. That's probably why. I said, well, was she a better kisser or what? Did you like it? And he was like, yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> Get dude that's so funny <laughs> i you know don't ask, ask stupid questions get hurtful answers yeah don't ask those questions guys it hurt my feelings wow that's so funny <laughs> yeah dude this that reminds me and I, we're gonna get back to this don't worry but the meanest thing i said to my crazy this is so harsh i don't think i've ever repeated this this is so mean so a, a, a bit of a timeline on my relationships. I lose my virginity to this guy that ghosts me and then his best friend. This is when I'm 18 or whatever. Um, to the guy that groomed me and then ghosted me. <laughs> the double G's. Um, so he's like 28 or whatever, you know. Lose my virginity to him and then he ghosts me. And I'm devastated. And then his best friend swoops in and like takes a little broken bird. And I date him for, I don't even know how long. We date for a little bit. But um, obviously, since I had lost my virginity, I, like sex wasn't a big deal. And so like now, obviously, in my brain, I'm like, duh, I'm expected to have sex. And I would try, but I just hated it. I hated having sex with him because I never liked him. Duh. Like we, we've we talked about this. I, I had a mm -hmm. bit of a complex. It was Stockholm syndrome for sure, but I actually never fell in love. Um, but it was just like I felt stuck in it and it was scary. And there's lots of layers to it, but that's a different thing. So um, I just hated I hated having sex with him and he would make it he would like oh i remember one time i like wouldn't have sex with him and so then he just like starts like jerking off next to me yeah like loudly like and i just like remember like just being mortified i was like what are you doing and he was like i'm just gonna take care of myself since you won't and i was like and he was just like sitting there like jerking off That's loudly. Disgusting. It was it was aggro. And he was like watching porn loudly. And just I was just like sitting there and I was like, what the f Yeah, it was mortifying. He was a freak. That's he was so freak. sad to think about you in a in a place where you would just sit there and then stay with that person. I, I didn't That's know what to do. Crazy. He was scary. I've told stories about this guy. He was scary. He was a scary yeah, guy. That's it was so just aggro. like Yeah, he was aggro. But Anyway, fast forward to when, luckily, the way we broke up is he joined an MLM and he moved, right? He was gone, whatever. And so it was a pretty easy breakup because then we were just like, wait, he moved. I don't have to talk to him anymore. He doesn't have mm -hmm. to talk to me. See you later. You know, like, it's just like, great. Um, it was a really easy breakup in that way for a very toxic relationship that was back and forth, very toxic um, for months. And then... Uh, he disappears but then i like eventually meet this other guy and whatever and i remember he like called me drunk one night and he just kept spamming my phone calls the ex did spamming my phone so finally i answer it and i'm like what and he's like yeah i forget what he's saying and he's like yeah you never even put out you're such a fucking prude like all these things and i was like and at that point i'd actually like enjoyed sex because i was with someone that i liked and was attracted to and so i was like so I cut him off and I remember I said something like it was never that I didn't like sex. It was just because number one, you were never good at it. And number two, I was never attracted and I never liked you. And then he was just dead silent. <laughs> and, and then, and then I remember I just like tripled down and I was like, yeah, I have sex all the time now. <laughs> I was like, I love it morning, night, evening. And he was like, and then that was the end of the conversation. And I, I, I and I remember like a few weeks later, he like messaged me and he was like, I think that was the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. And of course I didn't reply because why would I? Yeah, but I, right. I remember I was like, that was cool. But it was also such a weird flex. <laughs> that is bizarre. And like very TikTok toxic. editor. Don't put that on TikTok. Thank you. <laughs> from, uh, from both of you. That's very toxic. Yeah. Yeah. It was toxic. Okay. It my was toxic. My second drug story, my actual drug story, and I've said this before, but I, I went to Coachella. It, this was like relatively recently. Um, no, obviously, I've I've been in a relationship now for a while, but like you know, recent whatever, relatively recent. And I went to Coachella, and I was seeing this guy, and a, a lot of people do drugs at Coachella. It's like very, 
Comment, I've never done drugs in my life. Uh, well, that's a lie because I did drugs at Coachella. Um, I, besides weed and smoking or, or and drinking alcohol, I've never been interested in any hard drug ever. I've just never, it's never been a part of my life. Uh, but people were doing drugs at Coachella and I wanted to be cool, uh, free-spirited Coachella girly. Um, and I want to have fun and fit in with all his friends and uh, be cool. And so I finger dipped uh mdma that's so crazy <laughs> what a crazy they were holding sentence. a there was yeah it was a bag of mdma and you like lick your finger like a like fun dip, like a dipstick stick it yeah. in there you dip yeah. it in there and then eat it and what happened i didn't eat enough because nothing oh. happened did you but pretend at least were you like whoa <laughs> no i didn't i was just like i don't get it like nothing that's happening. funny but i was also really scared because like people die you also, like, didn't want it to happen. I also didn't really want to do drugs. It wasn't like nobody made me do drugs. I was trying to be cool. You were trying to be cool. Yeah, you were being embarrassing to get him to like you. Yeah, exactly. But I, I did yeah. do uh, MDMA for a, a man once. I almost got a tattoo. Dude, thank God you did it. Mm -hmm. I paid Can for I it and everything. Was? Yeah. His name. No, oh my god, no. It was the okay, guy- Don't act like that's crazy. You're gonna no, get a tattoo for a guy. I, the first thing, the first tattoo I get a name? I'm not that crazy. It was the guy, it was the it was the the guy I lost my virginity to. <laughs> he he was right. covered in tattoos. I had to tell the G and G, yeah. Um he was covered in tattoos, like head to toe, neck, freaking forehead, everything. He was he was like Adam Levine type covered. He actually looked kind of like Adam Levine. But um Actually, he had more tattoos than Adam Levine. I don't know why I said that. I think it's just because he looked like him. Um, and so we spent genuinely like more dates at the tattoo parlor than we did like at dinner. Like I just, I was just like, I would just sit there and see all the gross plasma come out of him. And it was just like, we would just sit there and I'd just hold his hand while he'd get a tattoo and we'd just talk. And like, we did it like so often. It was just, it was insane. And so then I wanted to fit in and I was like, I remember I was like, well, I'm going to get a tattoo. Will you come hold my hand? And he was like, he'd always call me baby. He's the only guy in that I've ever dated that would call me baby. And of course he'd call me baby. He was like 10 years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> but like no. uh, back then I thought it was so hot. I'm like, oh, yeah. you know. And so he'd be like, of course, baby, I'll come hold your hand. And I'm like, okay. And so I book the appointment. I pay for it. It was, you're going to make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. I think it's cute. It I was going to be on my ribs and it was okay, going to be, ouch. I know it was going to be, of course, typewriter font. Um, okay. and it was going to okay. be Beatles lyrics. <laughs> okay. What lyrics? Uh, living is easy with eyes closed from strawberry fields forever, which I still love That's those lyrics. Yeah, it's not the worst thing. That's fine. It's not the worst. It's just cringe. A white girl getting Beatles lyrics is... But at least it wasn't Let It Be, okay, guys? So why didn't you get them? You guys broke up? No. So it, I was paid for and everything, and he was at the tattoo parlor waiting for me. And then I get a phone call from my freaking mom because she finds out about it. How she finds out? I don't freaking know that stalker. Um... She calls me and she's like, Blair, don't get a tattoo. Like, blah, 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 blah. they're disgusting. They're ugly. Blah, blah. And I'm like, no, mom, I'm getting it. Blah, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I get a call from my brother. Like he's, he was like, he paved the way for me to be a black sheep. He's like the, he was like the, the OG black sheep of my family. Like he stopped going to church when he was like 12. He was just like, Fuck this shit. I don't believe in that. Um, and so he's the only reason that made it easier for me to leave the church. Genuinely. Um, but I get a call from him and he's always been the one that like I listened to. And he was like, yo, mom's pissed. Like, just wait until like you're a little older. Like you can like talk her into it or like, you know, something like that. Like, it's not worth it. Like, she's upset. She keeps crying. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, fine. And so then I, I called the guy and I was like, hey, I'm not going to tattoo. Mad. I'm surprised. I know I didn't want to say mom's mad. I was like, it was all a surprise. I bought you one, whatever you want, just get it. And so then he took my appointment and got it, got something done. I don't remember. It's probably like a little something, just a Jeez. little filler somewhere. Yeah. I've never threatened to get a tattoo for a guy. 
Yeah, I almost did it for a not, guy just because I wanted to like. That for you. I wanted to be cool and I wanted him to hold my hand while I got a tattoo. But then after me, you know what's crazy? After me, he started dating another girl. He cheated on. Well, he while he, uh, we were together, he cheated on me a few times. But then he ghosted me and then was with a few other girls. But then he got with this one girl that was kind of just like me, like ex Mormon, like young. Um, and so. she got covered in tattoos for him. She had none before covered no. like she's still covered she ended up getting pregnant and they got married and then she oh. gave birth and then they the got baby divorced with tattoos and the no. baby came out with tattoos yeah that's yeah. sad yeah so sad okay i have one last one okay. before we read theirs um i this one's actually crazy the the like headline is crazy i i like almost realistically like almost lost a hand to an alligator <laughs> when i was working <laughs> when i was working my zoo job um there was a guy that i had a crush on that i was working with and we were doing uh -huh. a a program like an education program um and we had these small american alligators small like three feet long head to tail ish so like small um and we were doing an education program our boss was like doing something else or like had to go get something whatever and we're trying to entertain this crowd and like do our do our like talks about each of the animals um and he blew through the animal speeches and like mm -hmm. our boss wasn't back so we had to kill time like Some we had time. to stall yeah until until she got back and um we were like authorized to hold the gators even though we shouldn't have been because i was an intern and like did not have the training to handle alligators um and this one that we had was in a uh a, a plastic tub and i wanted him to think that i was cool and i was like i'm gonna save the day like i'm gonna save this education like i'm gonna save this show i'm gonna go get the alligator myself bring it out there and like do the whole program like on stage and so i went back there and i went to pick up the gator and he thrashed like i i went to like pick him up Cause he's on the ground. So I went to pick him up by like the back of his head and like, and, and hold his whatever. But when I put my hand in there, he like flung his he head to like the side to with his it. mouth open. Yeah. He was, he was not happy. Um, and I managed to get him out. But by the time I got him out, he thrashed again and was like throwing his head around. But by, at that point you're holding an alligator. Like you can't, you can't drop him, you know? Yeah. Like you can't. So then I was stuck with him and then he stopped thrashing and then I went out and I did the presentation. It was kind of cool. And he didn't see any of the bad stuff backstage. But would I have done that if he wasn't there and I wasn't trying to impress him? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Dude, one time, this one's funny too. This, I, uh, I went on a date to a basketball game. I don't like basketball. I, I grew up basketball. in a basketball family. Like my family, my brother's a coach. Like I, I spent every fucking week night in a basketball gym watching my brothers play like it was whatever and like big basketball family i don't care for it but there's this boy that um my brother was a coach of at a different high school when i was in high school um because mm -hmm. my brother's 10 years older than me um mm -hmm. and so i'm in high school and then he's at another high school being a coach and so he'd always try to like set me up with the the boys at his high school you know because they were like he right. went to a he'd coached at a way more Mormon high school. So he'd always try to set me up with the nice boys and whatever. Cause I, you know, whatever. And, uh, and so I met this one guy through him and then we both graduate and we're both like 19 or whatever. And I was like, Oh, maybe I'll like give that guy a chance. And we like start talking a little more. And then I was like, I was like, Oh, I, God, I'm the, I'm the dumbest when I can't. Okay. Maybe this is a hack. You tell me this is either fraud or hack <laughs> fraud or hack let me know this okay. is my hack but it's also a lie which is never good this is my hack for a first date as a pussy so if you don't want to directly ask someone on a first date and i've done this many times in my life i don't know if i'm proud of this but it works every time i say hey i won two tickets to the lakers game from work do you want to go with me and you actually just bought them? Yeah. 
Because then it takes off the pressure it, of having it, the conversation of who had to buy it and sure, like sure, sure, you sure, have to sure, pay sure. each other back and da 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 da. It's. I mean, it's a good idea. It definitely is like less pressure, but it's a. It sucks for you. Why? Because you have to buy the tickets. Yeah, but you know, I think it's a. I think it's a good hack. It's a little fraudulent. <laughs> it's a little. You're starting your relationship off with like a little. With like a little lie, but it's okay. It's like a little one. Yeah, because like, you know, sometimes it doesn't work, which that one, it didn't work. So we go to the basketball game and I like Googled a bunch of stuff beforehand and I called my brother and I was like, tell me about basketball. Like who's good right now? I'm dyslexic. I didn't remember anything. I'm out there. I'm being like, I'm like, yeah, Paul Rudd is like crazy this year. And they're like, huh? And I'm like, what? You mean, oh, <laughs> Paul Rudd's an actor. My bad. Like it was just. <laughs> It was crazy, but, uh, so that didn't work out, but I've done that. I did that. I've done that for many, uh, many, uh, many, like a follow-up date or many, like just like really? not basketball, but like, Hey, Hey, I, cause it's like so less pressure. So it's like, you don't have to have the conversation of who owes who, what, or like what the plan is, like, what should we but do? I like, just feel like, I is feel it like bad? They're way easy. I don't think it's bad. I just think there are way easier, like lower stakes ways to do that. Like you could just be like, Hey, like. I'm going to go check out this place this weekend because I keep driving by and it looks cute. Like, let me know if you want to come. Like, isn't that the same thing? And just way less dramatic. <laughs> N I guess, but I don't <laughs> like having to figure out like who has to buy tickets. Okay. Money okay. gives me anxiety. Okay. And so I just, so I just, I've done it before with the zoo. Like, Hey, I got, I Got two tickets to the zoo. You want to come? Okay. My friend gave them to me. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. Try it. Try it if you're being nervous. Sure. Okay. Everybody, yeah, let yeah. me know. Or call me a fraud. I don't care. Um. Okay. Do you want to go through? Yes, our some viewers, of listeners these. at home, you asked us. Okay. There's one in particular that I want to read here. And it's number 39. So the way that we did this is uh, we asked, I forget how to use this. Um, we asked you guys, what's the most embarrassing way you've tried to impress your crush? And then you all submitted what you've done. And we have little notes on each of them. And the notes on this one are crazy. And I just, I want to see the story. Number 39. Okay. Okay. Why isn't it working? Drama. Drama, 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 drama. Okay, we have Natalie. Are you ready? Natalie. This is 37. This is 39. Okay. I'm right, here. here. I'm actually not here. I'm just going to listen to you. When I was in second grade, I was hanging out with the cool kids of my class. It was really exciting for me because one of them was my crush. We were hanging out. This is second grade. Okay. We were hanging out okay. at some park you beside that, our like, school. You say like you can't have crushes in second grade. I'm just like setting the context. It's like, okay, what, what okay. could have happened in second grade? That's okay, like, set the scene. It's traumatic. This is I'm off sticky. by one. What? So I'm reading the wrong one? Great. Now Natalie feels bad. Read Natalie's. And then we'll do the other one. Wait, so am I supposed to be doing 40? Okay, I'll finish reading Natalie's. Um, we were hanging out at some park besides their school that had rusty bars in different directions to climb on. Somehow we started playing limbo when you had to lower yourself under the bars to see how low you could go. I was obsessed with impressing, impressing my crush and wanted to go under the lowest bar, I guess, to show how fun or flexible I can be. Okay. Um, as I was doing it, I laughed or smiled as someone made a random joke and I hit my front teeth on the rusty bar. I think I felt oh, fine and tried to act ow. cool right after oh. if it was no big deal and also probably felt embarrassed because it was such a loud sound and I didn't look great. A few minutes, I realized I chipped my upper front tooth forever. <gasps> it's still chipped with a sharp edge and I've gotten used to it and I never got it fixed. I just didn't trust the small town dentist to fix it. Um, it's just now a part of me and my smile. It's fine. I just think it's embarrassing. No, and the guy who I never, the guy who I never liked, liked me back for the next seven years, and the cool kids never hung out with me again after a year or two, probably because I got super bad acne. Then anyway, thanks for reading. 
Damn, Natalie. We're the same. Huh. All right. So the one that I want to read apparently is number 41 instead. How did this happen to us? I don't know. Um, and this is from Billy. Okay, Billy Eilish, listener and fan of the podcast. Hi, how's it going? I can't wait for your new album on the 12th. We're ready. All right, Billy. I had a crush on this girl named Katrina in my senior year in high school, and she sat in front of me in my English class, so I got to talk Is to her Billy pretty frequently. Is Billy a boy or a girl? A girl. I mean, I think a girl. Or a les Or no, a boy. Or a lesbian. <gasps> or a lesbian. bisexual girl. Or a bisexual boy. I don't know. But what what grade is this? Uh, this is I had a crush on a girl named Katrina in my senior year of high school. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She sat in front of me at my English class, so I got to talk to her pretty frequently throughout the year. It was brought up that her plan after high school was to join the Marines, and how she Whoa. went to the local Marine recruitment center frequently to become one. I, six Bro. foot and one hundred and forty pounds, soaking wet at the time with asthma, thought it'd be a great idea to join her <sighs> on one of the times she went to the Marine Recruitment Center without really no. thinking about the activities I'd be getting myself into. The day comes and I drive myself to the recruitment center, and I'm greeted by two officers who immediately asked how many pull-ups I can do, and I responded with I haven't done one since seventh grade, and proceeded to do a solid two push-ups before giving up. They laughed and said, that's better than most kids your, your age, and then asked why I wanted to become a Marine. And I just said, I'm exploring my options, whereas in reality, I was trying to impress Katrina. They then brought me back to the room where everyone was stretching and jogging in place because the first activity was a one and a half mile jog to the park, where I would then severely embarrass myself. The activities were as follows. Fireman carry your partner with two full boxes of ammo to the goal. Sprint drag carrying said partner, which is basically dragging someone who is limp and doing burpees. But when you get up, you must lift the ammo box above your head for it to count. No, I'm good. I don't want to be a Marine. I only lasted about 10 minutes of these before being told you're too weak for this country if you give up now. <laughs> okay, and I'm I was too weak, weak for this to really country. Care. <laughs> Where should I go? Uh, I then proceeded to wait on the sidelines for 30 minutes and then was driven back to the recruitment center as one of my fellow pulleys jogged the one and a half miles back and watched me get driven away the next day in English. The first thing she said to me so was, so you're coming back for round two? And I just said, no, I think I'll pass. Um, I just stuck to helping her with proofreading essays after that. Okay, that story actually wasn't as crazy as I expected. It had Marine yeah, recruitment I wish you in the notes. Yeah, I signed up to the Marines. I thought he signed up for the Marines. <laughs> I yeah. was like ready for him to. Wow, to you didn't love her that much, country. Billy. <laughs> wow, Dude. Billy, that's insane. All right. Do um, you even care about her <laughs> or our country? <laughs> probably not enough. Not enough. Okay, we have. We have. How about thirty? You know what? Ten says anal sex. Should we try that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I embarrassed my sex by myself by having anal sex because my crush liked it. I'm not sure. I don't think. <laughs> what happened? Okay. She's giggling. Audio listener, she's giggling. Is from Manacook. <laughs> Audio listener, she's giggling so much she's throwing up now. It's actually a pandemonium. So this is just a straight up embarrassing story, FYI. I, 19 year old male at the time, had anal sex for the first time with this guy and he tore my shit up. <laughs> no, not your shit. No. <laughs> I ended up at the ER where we bumped into his mom who was <gasps> a CT tech. She called my mom and we ended up being surrounded by our parents. I was so embarrassed. I will never forget the look of disgust on their faces, and that's how I got kicked to the curb and was homeless for a while. What? This was so funny, and now this sucks. So sad. Your funny story about your getting your shit torn up. Now you're homeless. Now it's depressing. You became homeless. Don't worry, though. I'm doing great for myself as a nurse at a urology clinic while making art on the side and getting down every now and then. Okay, slay. Excellent. Oh, Ludwig is calling me. Hello. Hi, I'm recording wine about it. Okay, I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Sorry, he was just calling me for his dick appointment. 
what a needy bitch <laughs> yeah yeah it's kind of crazy yeah okay all right i got another one okay huge all right all right all right all right where'd it go where'd it freaking go all right 34 all right 34 we got samantha this is a long one are you ready yes okay dude this fly I guess like one of the most recent embarrassing things I tried to do was like for Ludwig um, during our relationship, just because sometimes you want your boyfriend, you just want him to like you. <laughs> he likes okay. me, but like I want him to like me more and he okay. loves anime. And so I really tried hard to like anime. Like I sat through multiple seasons of anime. I really don't like it. I don't like it either. I've done <laughs> but I did. Thing. I tried so hard, but I, I haven't really sat through that much, like but I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I watched, and Ludwig says his favorite, which I know this will make anime people mad. And maybe he didn't say this is his favorite anime. He says Welcome to NHK is a favorite anime, which is so weird because it's kind of just like about this guy who just like jerks off a lot. But maybe I'm crazy. Um, well, it's not like that. It's, it, it's a whole thing. Anyway, but he was like, oh yeah, my favorite like cartoon growing up was Naruto or Naruto oh, and Naruto. Uh, the airbender one. What's that guy? Avatar. Avatar. And so I watched all of Avatar. I watched all of Naruto. I don't give a okay. shit. Avatar kicks ass, I'm going to be honest. Really? I don't yeah, like it. Yeah, it kicks ass like really hard. I just think I don't like cartoons. Well, that's fair. But um, that's I the most to, recent one. I went to all three days of Formula One last year. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of like I'll watch anime and Ludwig will come to a Taylor Swift concert. Yeah, I paid like, what, like 600 or $700 or something to sit there for three days and watch cars go in the same circle sorry yeah, it's not a circle crazy. it has some turns in it what it is a circle i don't know now? i watch cars on my ipad there <laughs> that's Formula crazy one. yeah it just and i got really sunburned okay all right here we go this one's long this is from samantha okay junior year of high school i was obsessed with this guy in my athletic pe class um I tried really hard to figure out how to get the guy's attention, but nothing seemed to really click. I wasn't nearly as athletic as some of the other girls in the class, so I convinced myself that was why I didn't stand out to him. At one point early in the school year, he had knee surgery and had a full-on leg brace, so for almost six months um, on cardio, he got to stay back and lift weights with the teachers and the rest of the class went on their run. I obviously okay. saw this as an opportunity to get noticed, and I've never been one to do anything half-assed i got the brilliant idea to tell the coach coaches that i had a stress fracture in one of my feet assuming it'd get me a few weeks to sit out and bond with the guy okay. unfortunately to my surprise a stress fracture is a lot more serious than i thought and they demanded i go to the er and get x-rays <laughs> no Oops. i'm actually luckily, surprised I convinced them, yeah luckily i convinced them it wasn't necessary and i but i couldn't get out of going and getting x-rays to prove my injury a smarter person would have bailed, but I committed to the bit. The x-rays came back normal, but I insisted I was in severe pain because I didn't want to admit that I lied. That led to weeks uh, of physical therapy and doctor's visits trying to figure uh, out why I was in pain. That sucks. They, they couldn't find anything except a weird blur on an MRI, and they decided to do surgery to find out more information. Girl, no how way. did you let them do surgery on you? That's way too far. This is like this was funny. Now it's too far. And also, if weeks of per, weeks of physical ther therapy, why didn't you just start saying, "Oh, I'm just starting be like, to feel better." Oh, it's better. I iced it. Why don't you just say you iced it? I went through the I went through with the surgery, and turns out there actually was something wrong with my foot, and that it would what? have started causing excruciating pain within a few years anyway. What? But I 1,000% uh, didn't Ligma. know that at the time. We dated for a year. He turned out to be a terrible person. And 11 years later, I still have a cr excruciating foot pain and a scar. Oh. So her foot did hurt, at least. No. And she added a picture. Of her and foot? It's her foot. And it's a scar <laughs> on her foot. We can't show it because it's a foot pic. We can show it. Just blur out her toesies. Toesies are what make the money. There is. She did have surgery on this foot. It's also next to a bunch of pill bottles, I assume, for her foot oh. pain. Damn, that sucks. That's crazy and tragic. 
I'm sorry that you had surgery. I guess not for no reason. But that's too far, guys. If, uh... If you get to that point, it's too far. Don't surgery, have surgery is too far. Yeah, for a crush. I agree. There's probably been times... Right. Oh, I took up guitar. I started learning guitar for a crush. Oh, I've done that too. Yeah. But I couldn't stick yeah, to the classic. regimen. Classic. All right, let's see. Do you want broken teeth or... Um... Hotel meetup. Oh my gosh, hotel meetup. Can I say something crazy? Yeah. One time in high school, because I wanted to make out with my boyfriend, we went to not. a Motel 6. Ew, dude. I know, and we got a room, and we just made out for a few hours. Like, we didn't even have sex because I was a virgin. We just made out in a Motel 6. Was it worth it? Yeah, because we were able to cuddle and watch TV. Oh, that's cute, actually. And I said I was sleeping at my friend's house, and he said he was sleeping at his friend's house. Wait, that's kind of sick, honestly. Okay, thanks. That's I'm cool. Sick. Yeah, yeah. And the Motel Six was only like forty bucks. Yeah, I think that's dope. Forty bucks for freedom in high school—it was awesome. Yeah, that goes crazy. Um, okay, this is the hotel meetup story. This is from anonymous. Ooh, it's so bad that they can't share their identity. All right. One time, my crush hit me up and asked me to hang out. He thought I lived in L.A. I don't. I live four to five hours away. But with oh, our no. jobs, it's best to live in L.A., so I just told people I did. Okay. So he invited me to hang with him and his friends, and he said he'd hit me up around 8 p.m. So I drove my ass to L.A., six hours with traffic, oh, no. got a hotel room, which was $500. You didn't you have to gone spend to the Motel 500 six. You should have yeah. gone to the Motel 6. Um, got ready and waited for him to text me. Oh, he didn't even. It wasn't I sure plans. It was waiting. Oh God. When you're in the dating phase and you're waiting for the hangout text, that's literally uh, the most painful thing ever. And like, you don't know if you should put makeup on or take it or whatever. Oh. Yeah. You don't know if you should uh. like drink a diet Coke or if you should just have a cup of tea. Got ready, waited for him to text me. I felt absolutely crazy for doing this at this point. I was questioning everything. 8 PM rolls around. I haven't heard from him since 2 PM. I was starting no. to think he wasn't going to message me or follow up, so I was feeling anxious and stupid. The amount of nerves I had was insane because it was going to be our first time hanging out. So I just sat there in my hotel room and waited. 11 p.m. rolls around, and I decided I was going to be brave and text him. 11 p.m.? That sucks. That sucks. That sucks so bad. An hour later at midnight, he texts me back and says he's just finish finishing up with his friends, rude, and he wants to hang out after. I don't know why I even bothered to hang out with him at this point after keeping me waiting, but I thought, well, fuck it, I'm already here, and I drove all this way. I was committed Fair. to hanging out with him. I would probably do the same thing. Me too. And she would already got ready. Yeah. She already did her makeup and all that. There's only really so many episodes anxiety. of ridiculousness you can watch at the hotel, too. Right. I have really bad social anxiety, uh, so all day I was anxiously waiting, hanging out, and to make matters worse, he kept me waiting hours. It's 2.30 yeah. a.m. at this point. Oh, wait, my God. Wait, what? I thought you were... It's 2.30 a.m. at this point, and I literally gave up, so I started to take my makeup off. No, dude. If she goes out after this, it's over. It's Jover. I was pretty sad about it. Hotel. Then I get a text with an address to his friend's house, and he asked me to come pick him up. Oh, my God. I freaked out at this point and said, f*** it. Dude! Uh, no. They're I rolled out of bed, now? put my makeup back on, <laughs> and got in my car. To make matters worse, I'm, I was still trying to impress him. So I do something so cringe, and I put a book... <laughs> Right on my center console in my car, so we'd have no choice but to see it. Why the f did That's I do this? So I think funny. about this to this day. It keeps me up at night because now I have a completely different viewpoint. I was trying to impress him with my knowledge. Yeah, but um, like sometimes I've done that with like guys or new crushes where you, <laughs> oh my God. I thought of a funny one. Okay. Okay. I'll wait. Um, 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 I take some time to text him back because he made me wait seven hours after we were supposed to hang out. So I waited until 3 a.m. to let him know I was on my way. Uh -huh. I go to pick him up and we just ended up sitting in my car for an hour outside his friend's house. Worst day ever. That sucks. That's really sad. Where is he now? Look at him on Instagram. Where is yeah, he? Go find him. Go find him. Um, See if he's dead. He might have died. Nothing. You might still be winning. He might be dead. Wow. 
So another is- embarrassing thing. Okay. One time I went, I went home with this guy. It was crazy. I was being wild. I was being a freak. I went home with this guy. And then the next morning he was giving me a ride home and I had never drank in coffee. Um, and so, but he, he stops at a, a coffee place and he's like, Oh, what do you, what do you want? You know? And this is like, like I said, I've been Mormon for years, so I didn't know. And so I just ordered a black coffee and he's like, that's all you want. You don't want any sugar or cream. And I was like, no, that's so cool of you. And then I sat there and like, I thought it was cool. And so then I sat there like next to him and I was like, this thing fucking sucks. You know what? You're not like what the other girls. I wasn't trying to for drinking black coffee. I don't like, I don't like all you that. Know- of that frilly, sugary crap. You know who unironically drinks black coffee and is not like the other girls? My boyfriend does that. Squeaks and your boyfriend. Ugh. Squeaks always sits Squeaks there with some black like ass coffee girls. and he's like, I'm not like the other girls. I started streaming when I was 45. <laughs> he, is, he is so different for that. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm confused because I was looking at stories and they're labeled like they're they're kind of ranked like ones uh-huh. that we should look out for. But then I uh-huh. was looking at ones that have no ranking. And one of them is um, ate a stack of papers. OK, let's go there. I think I like that. <laughs> so like, no, OK. okay. All right. No, what are, is, is it like a, you're like you're like some <laughs> this is my prediction. OK, my prediction <laughs> okay, okay. is like the girl in his class. Clar- Clarissa Clarissa is classy has such a crush on her and she gets an F and the teacher's like yo you didn't bring your homework and she's like my dog ate my homework and and then the teacher's like Clarissa you don't have a dog and then and then Jonathan's like bet and he runs to her house and chews up all of her homework and then sends the teacher pictures that's my prediction my prediction was just that she was like, bet you can't eat that stack of papers. And he was like, and then he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's see who's right. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, I had eighth grade geometry class with a girl that sat next to me. The seating arrangement was weird. Instead of single desks or larger tables, we sat in double desks that looked like two desks connected to each other side by side. Wait, that's so romantic. Double desks. Two, okay. Wait, like, we sat in double love desks. Love seat desks. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, imagine you get sat next the to drum. the stinky kid. Yeah. The drum, the drum, the drum. Oh, Dude, the that'd love be seat so much drama. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you, oh, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Thinking back on it now, it feels like a weirdly intimate setup, which is probably why we got to know each other so quickly and became such fast friends, despite not talking to each other in the years prior. At some point in my head, a switch just flips and suddenly I have a crush on her. From that point forward, my sole objective in geometry class was to make her laugh as much as possible, and since I was young and not that funny, the easiest shortcut was making an ass out of myself. I debased myself a lot that year, but the dumbest thing I probably did came at the end of the school year. We had already taken finals and didn't have more work to do, so we were just cleaning out our desks and killing time. I don't know what impulse kicked in, but I made some remark to her about how I need to make sure I never forget the sacred information of my math homework, that it needs to be a part of me forever. Oh, God. No. So I pull out the staple of this five-page homework packet, crumple up the pages into a ball, and shove the ball of learning into my mouth and that start is, chewing. This is such a Ludwig thing to do. I could see Ludwig doing this in high school. He tells me some of his stories, and that's what he, he just wanted to be the funny guy. And he is funny, so it like worked. But And of course, she's laughing and asking why the i'm doing this which then leads to her relentlessly telling me there's no way i can actually eat all of that that's why i that's why i said i did say that you're right you're right which then emboldens me further and causes me to double down and just keep chewing on the paper legitimately i chewed on this paper for at least 20 minutes ew it started to get really nasty when i actually started tasting printer ink as the paper started to break down but i pushed through and eventually swallowed it i cannot for sure say she was impressed but she was definitely surprised that i managed to do this did it make her love me though it did not oh so they're not married kind of crazy you added no photo or short video proof (laughs) yeah liar (laughs) you're lying (laughs) i bet you made that up five pages is a lot 
I have one lot. from Brian over here. I don't know if this is on okay. the list, but I was just skipping through and it looked interesting. Brian. Excellent. In high school, I was in love with this girl at work named Ali for like two years and everyone, including the girl, knew it. Guy at work had just gotten a tattoo and everyone, including Ali, liked it. So I thought I'd one up him. <laughs> I love a good tattoo one. See, mm -hmm. instead of getting a tattoo, I saw a show about a bar on the East Coast where if you you let them brand you, you get a drink there for free for life. That's the least worth thing. And also what sadist runs that business that cannot be legal. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so I thought if a bar can legally brand someone, how bad can it be? I got a pair of needle nose pliers, a lighter and a quarter, then texted Allie heads or tails and wouldn't tell her why. Brian, you're dope. I think this is cool. You don't think it's cool? I'm I need to follow along with you because I I I'm on number eleven. I don't understand. Okay. Okay, I'm here. All right, Brian. Great. She eventually picks tails, so I press a red hot quarter into the front of my shoulder. The pain actually wasn't as bad as you think because it fried the area so fast that the pain stopped pretty quick. I ended up having a brand of a moose on my chest for a total of like five minutes. Wait, why a moose? Then, uh, maybe it's from Canada. But he said a quarter. I thought it was a quarter. Is there a moose maybe, on the quarter? Okay, continue. Okay. Then the skin boiled and pilled, leaving an open wound on my chest. Okay. I don't tell my parents what I did, but I wait a week when we are on family vacation where we'll be camping in. What's that word? Oh, it's a moose quarter. It does What's have a moose word? on it. Algonquin um, Park. Algonquin. Quinn. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. In a tent for a week straight, which is when I tell them and show them the heavily infected wound. My mom calls a nurse friend and the nurse says there's not much you can do now, but keep cleaning the wound and keep it covered. <laughs> Could you imagine that conversation with your parents? Mom, I, I wanted a moose quarter brand. Yeah. Cause and Ali really liked this other it. guy's tattoo. Dude, I would put my kid in a, in a special program. <laughs> School. He said, wait, there's a happy ending. Now, I don't know if the brand was the reason, but Ali and I ended up dating. So if you want to win over a girl, branding yourself has a 100% <laughs> success rate. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, picture is after 15 years, most people see the scar and don't know the story. And ask if I got shot or stabbed. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. it doesn't look like a brand or a quarter, unfortunately, no, or yeah. a moose. Yeah. It also doesn't look like a moose. I wish you would have included what Ali said when you told her. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You guys, when we ask for this, give us more tea. What what give would you more. say? I would say, wow, you really do love me. No, let's I'm get married. So okay, be so <laughs> real right now. If a guy pre pre current boyfriends, if a guy said you said tails. Here's this brand of a of tails. On if my it was a guy a that I had a crush on, I would think it was cool. Unironically, I really would. I think. I think I'm toxic. That's bad. That's not I know. Good. I would I be know. very scared. Really? I would not talk to him again. Yeah. That's a huge. Oh. No offense. No offense, uh, well, Brian. Brian. My no things are a huge red flag. But that's that's a huge red flag. That would be crazy to me. I would be to If you're in high afraid. school though, like high school goofy, crazy, silly, and the boy you have a high crush on in high friend. school, you have a crush on him and he does that, I'd be like, damn, bitch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got time for one more. All right. Let's race who can find the good one. I want to start at the back. You start at the front. La, 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 la. 
There's actually been a lot. I've seen um, a lot of anime ones. I haven't pre-read this one, but it's long as hell. Do you want me to read it? So maybe I just don't know if it's good or not, but it's long as hell. What is it? What number? 37. Speaking of the 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 Tony from high school that I had a crush on, he uh, I would always I talked about this briefly once, but I would always bring him fresh baked cookies. Uh, that was pretty embarrassing. I'd always give him hand massages and I'd ask him what scent of lotion he wanted. And we'd be in the lunchroom that. and I'd be giving him hand massages. I hate that story. I can't. I hate. I'm cringe. I'm cringing. <laughs> yeah, but um, he loved me. No, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> I would love me too right. if I was getting hand massages and cookies every day. Last one is from Anonymous. It's very long. I'm going to paraphrase. Okay. Um, hi, hi. Sorry. Not sure if these count, but I was trying to impress him. Ended up embarrassed. So you be the judge. Back in high school, Donnie was a boy in my choir class for the past two grades. Had a huge crush on him. I would talk about it to the two stoner kids. I had the class after so much that they were rooting for me hard and always asked me for updates. I, I was also in the that. anime club. Yeah. I was also in anime club and my friend April would draw ship art of us. Um, and most of the choir class would ask if we were dating. That's um, embarrassing. You should have told April to stop doing that. Uh, of course, I dyed my hair jet black the night. Wait, what? Asked if we were dating at the time. So I thought I would muster up the courage to confess. Okay. That's what? But I had to do it right, so of course, I dyed my hair jet black the night before, chopped it off, and curled it. It honestly looked pretty good. April lent me her six inch heels in high school. Oh my school. god. Okay. I was a size eight at the time. She was a seven, so I squeezed those puppies in. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I wore one of those sweaters with the spikes on the shoulders <laughs> that were all no, over Tumblr. Oh no. And leggings. It was really okay. hard to walk in the heels. People were people behind me were making fun of how I walked. My feet hurt, but I just had to last until choir, which was my second to last class of the day. Um I stopped in the bathroom. The girls were really sweet and said I look pretty. I get to class and he just isn't there. I text him oh, and hit him no. with the, where are you? I have a surprise for you. And he says something about being sick. I don't remember. Uh, and that I can just show him tomorrow. Crushed. Disappointed. Uh, I try to like, walk I to my next hills class. all day. It hurts to move. My feet are blistered and bleeding and I'm late. After class, I have to make it to the bus, but I can't walk that far. And I didn't bring up back, bring backup shoes. In front of the entire class, my last period teacher has to call the nurse to come bring the <gasps> wheelchair so they can wheel me to the bus. No. Of course, they asked why on the intercom, and my teacher said something along the lines of someone was trying to be too cute today. I was laughed at and wanted to crawl in a hole. Ew, weird teacher. Weird teacher, but also, why don't you just take your shoes off? Yeah. I know this is long, but there's a part two. I hadn't confessed to him still, but we became part of the same friend group, so some progress. For context, it was me, uh, my friend April, Donnie's friends Michael, and Leo, along with a Leo's ex, Casey. Leo was heavily not over Casey, and Casey was always leading Leo on. Casey Damn it, Casey, crush you every little week. bitch. Yeah, but she was really nice to me. Um, oh. She would also draw okay. ship art of me with Donnie. Dude. <laughs> That's You guys are weird. Don't draw ship art. I knew I had to move fast, though, because Casey was kind of slutty. Power to you, girl. That's so funny. Power to you, girl. And I was scared she'd take him. I hate when you have All friends right. like that. I had so many friends like that. Donnie's birthday was coming up. I baked him a small cake that was his favorite color, stored it in the choir room fridge. April and Casey knew about it. And I, because I was so nervous and yapping, um, I was going to wait until class when we both go to the choir room to grab our stuff and go home so the cake wouldn't melt and confess. Okay, confess her love. At the end of class, I get there first and try to find my cake, but it's not there. I ask my teacher. She tells me a friend came to pick it up. I go out to the hall and see Leo running away with my cake. I'm running after <sighs> him, yelling at him to give it back to me. And he said, it's for Donnie, right? And then I yell, it's for Donnie, right? Then I'll give it to him. All assholey while laughing at me and then takes a chunk out of it and throws it at me <sighs> to get me to stop chasing him. I'm now crying. I go back to the choir room and ask my teacher why she gave it to him. She said, it's not her problem. She's not responsible for my property and also laughs at me. Jesus. With some of the leftover choir kids. Fuck you, Mrs. Bundy. Yeah. Bundy. Fuck you. Um, didn't even see Donnie, but thank God at this point, I go and lock myself in the bathroom and call to be picked up because I'm crying so hard I didn't want the bus to see me. I eventually come to learn uh, from April that Casey and Leo 
Casey asked Leo to take my cake so I wouldn't be able to confess to Donnie. That slut. If you're curious how it ended up, I did end up confessing over the phone, eventually got rejected, womp womp. I got over him. Then suddenly he wanted to date me, right? That yeah. always, that's how While it happens. actively sleeping with Casey at the time. God yeah. damn it, Casey! I don't have much and proof Johnny. this was years ago. Um, I do have some ship art that Casey made, but please, please do not show it because I grabbed it from Casey's Facebook. Okay, we're not going to we show it, show but we're going to look at it. And I'm going to oh, stalk wow. Casey on Facebook. Don't like that. Don't like I don't that like at that. all. Why are you guys like fairies? Why like when people the... draw fan art, all of a sudden they give each other elf ears? Sorry. Maybe you I have elf like it's ears. really sensual and I don't like that. And I don't like that people are drawing fan art of each other. IRL. Yeah, that is weird. Why are you doing that? Yeah, you should stop that. <laughs> I know it wasn't you, but like. Tell Casey yeah, to grow that. up. Casey, if you're listening yeah. to this right now, not cool. Yeah. That's a crazy all story, right. though. I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, it's sad. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Guys, about it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We're gonna make a thumbnail, a picture of our childhood crushes. <laughs> Imagine. Yep. Yep. Be Look good. out, Tony from high school. <laughs> You're the thumbnail now. Let's we make. We should do a. Let's just make it Tony stream. the Tiger. We should do a stream where we rate our exes um, on a tier list with real pictures. Thoughts? I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not that unhinged. All right. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye. I employ all my nieces and nephews because I'm a strong believer of children labor. Labor. I believe children should work. We said um, a lot of crazy stuff this up. <laughs> I've meant all of it. Um, I think children should have jobs. And so, you know, those perler beads. <laughs> I buy them yeah. from them. So if they choose yeah, to Yeah, and work... you pay them like way too much for them as well. Sorry. Oh, they've got tiny little baby hands. It's harder to use. I'm actually helping them so much that... with their motor skills.